All right. Hello, everybody. I want to talk a little bit today. I just want to talk about um, this statement that I hear. I've always heard throughout my life. I've heard this. And I always make a comment about it when I hear it, but I want to say it to everyone. And so more than the people that I know can hear this. And this is what it is. It's, I don't care what anybody thinks about me. End quote. Now, the, the issue is, with me, I feel like um, it's like the most bogus thing that there is to say literally like it's a it's a statement that instantly contradicts itself like if you say out loud out loud now not think it okay if you say it out loud i don't care what anybody thinks about me then you said it for someone else to hear and if someone else was meant to hear that then you were trying to project your feelings so that they could see that ultimately saying that you care what they think and know about you okay so I mean, everyone cares. Everyone cares what other people think about them. You may not care what everybody thinks about you. Like, you may not care, which you shouldn't care about what people who have been confirmed as haters <laughs> think about you. Because haters are going to hate regardless. When everything is good, they're going to hate. When everything is bad, they're going to hate. They're going to just like, they're going to, you know, celebrate your downfalls and, you know, you know, be mad when you get real high and happy, you know, like, so you're not supposed to concern yourself with what, in fact, honestly, those aren't technically people. <laughs> I don't like to think of haters as people. I don't like to think of them as like negative entities, you know, <laughs> like, just kind of like negative energy in the world. It's just floating around and just landing in a per like a possessed person. Person who possessed with a hater. You know, like like it's a demon, a hater demon, you know. But you know, it's okay. It's okay. It's good to care what people think. We have to care what people think. If we didn't care what people thought, if if you never cared what people thought, you could think what type of thing we would ultimately get into like in our society we really don't really have the choice like there's too many options of horrible things to do to get into there have to be standards you have to have standards boundaries boundaries are very very important like and you know that that's where you know when you when you mind just well, even if it's just your parents even if the only person you care about what they think is your parents or your big sister or your big brother or, you know, or a teacher or a, a coach, whatever it is, like a, a little brother, a little sister, somebody smaller who's watching you and going to mimic your behavior. Like, whatever it is, you, you have to care. And everyone does, even if they don't want to say, they don't want to say that they care because they're tired of hearing negative feedback. So they just start saying, I don't care. It doesn't make it true. It just that's why they say it. So it's like when someone gets too much negative feedback, they just start saying, "I don't care." <laughs> but caring is is fine. Like you you have to have we have to have these things that keep us in line. These boundaries, right? If you don't have boundaries, you'll do just about anything. I had a friend. I won't say the name said person, but um. He did not have boundaries. And this got shown when certain things got um, um, offered and introduced to him. And he he was just kind of open to anything. And he turned, he turned into something else completely. I can't say what. But he turned into something completely different because he had no boundaries. There was nothing like it was nothing that he wouldn't do. Like there was nothing that he wouldn't try. It's one thing to be open minded. Right. But there are limits, people. Like there are, there are supposed to be limits. Like if there are no limits, then everyone would be on heroin. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying like the world would be an absolute chaos all the time in all parts like the whole thing you know 
And so that's what boundaries do. There's some people who stay in line. There's some people who travel outside of the line. And but there's people who stay in that line. And that's the balance. That's the ba There's balance, you know, and it has to be that. And that's what, that is what boundaries give us. So when you say that you don't care, just know that no one really believes that when you say it. Like, we, we all just look and go, yeah, whatever. Because everything you do after you say it says you care. You, you, when you do something extra, you know, you always do it so there's an audience watching. You know, you want people to see you do these rebellious things. Like, you know, that's you caring what they think. Now, what you're trying to make them think is that's on you, but you do care, which is projected by the fact that you're demonstrating something for these people. To give them an idea about you, whether it's a true idea or not, you know, but that that's all my thing. And I just wanted to say to those people who say that out loud, it is actually a contagious statement, too, because younger people, like when your brothers and your brothers and your sisters and your little cousins and stuff, when they they hear you say these things, they think that that's the scapegoat comment that I make when I do something bad, like... <laughs> They'll do something that they know that their parents won't approve of or that their friends will, you know, once they do something and they get caught and their friend finds out that they did it or, and they're like looking at them in a negative way, they just use that statement. It's like a, it's a scapegoat. It's, it's like an excuse and they never check themselves. It allows people to not check themselves, you know, saying that statement just kind of supposed to get you off the hook. I don't care what nobody thinks of me, but you do and you still have to live in your skin and live your life, and, and, and deal with all these things. Saying it will not make you not have to deal with it. You still have to deal with it. You just, like, the idiots in your life will buy that statement. And the people who give a crap know that you're just saying it because you don't want to, you know, hold yourself responsible for whatever it is that you did <laughs> that caused you to say it. So that was all that I wanted to say. And I'm so glad I got to say it and my phone didn't ring. Yes, let me go ahead and say bye before it does again. Peace.